hello dear students in this video i will make you able to understand the concept of spirogyra reproduction with reference to parthenogenesis parthenogenesis in spirogyra this terminology you should know first of all it is strictly related with a failure of gametic fusion that is parthenogenesis actually so sometime the cells of spirogyra they begin to form gametes okay as a part of a sexual mode of reproduction that process is called as a gametogenesis but this gametogenesis later on due to certain reasons has to be get entered into the conjugation but that due to certain reasons what happen conjugation does not take place so that is nothing but a failure so it appear to be interrupted or to fail at some stage of the process of a union of gametes so in this way if there are two filaments and these two filaments they are producing their gametes and gametic fusion should be there by means of a conjugation tube over there so for formation of a uh, for formation of a zygote there should be a dissolution of this wall so this wall is not get dissolved or it should not be get uh, brought in contact with the female uh, parent uh, female uh, gamete angia and instead of that this uh, such type of a reasons that may causes the conversion of that particular un uh, fused gamete to get convert into the spore like structure that is called as a parthenospore so such type of cases they have been get reported in case of a spirogyra species like as a spirogyra groenlandica in such cases the conjugation papillae they are linked to each other uh, here you can see that papillae is get linked over their conjugate but there is no conjugation tube has established over there so linkage takes place but protoplast in the conjugating cells that is get round off and it secretes the wall around itself that protoplast and uh, before intervening the uh, this uh, double wall between the conjugation tube which uh, or conjugation papillae which is there it it is not get dissolved and ultimately these rounded structures they behave like as a, a spore so such a spores which are produced here as there is no gametic fusion they are generally called as a parthenospore which is a result of a parthenogenesis or it is generally called as a ozygospore now why it is called as ozygospore because they are not a result of a zygote formation they are not a result of a fusion or gamete uh, gametic involvement is not over there so such a parthenospores are uh, is simply called as a ozygospore they germinate under favorable condition and gives rise to a new filament so parthenon genesis result into the parthenospore it looks like as this so parthenospores are uh, also produced or have been get recorded in certain species like as a spirogyra mirabilis with the preliminaries of a conjugations actual so this type of phenomenon in which uh, or when uh, gametes grow into a new individual without fertilization is generally referred as a parthenogenesis so this parthenogenesis terminology is strictly associated with a ozygospore you have to remember this very basic par part actually so i hope that uh, you are now able to know what is exactly parthenogenesis in spirogyra and how parthenospores or ozygospores are produced so thank you very much for watching this video keep watching for the further videos for more details thank you very much